Director of Transit Foundation, uh, on which behalf I uh, warmly welcome you all to the 22, 22nd edition of uh, European Lab Forum that we uh, agree to, to, to host here in, uh, in Transit House, the ex Pole Tzedek uh, Synagogue. Um, the number of this edition coincides also with our uh, anniversary age that we are going to celebrate in autumn. Transit House is uh, a space for, for contemporary art and contemporary thought that is running for 22 years now. Um, and it's kind of one of the oldest um, independent institutions of culture in Romania. Uh, and, okay, everybody uh, welcome to the, to the 20 second edition huh, of European, uh, European Lab. Uh, I would like also to say that we are glad to uh, open the panel, uh, with the, open the panel program with a panel named Chances of Plurilingualism in Europe as a tool of practicing uh, participative democracy proposed by uh, Chilo Kionzi, uh, in which you will hear talking Robert Schwarz, the president of Jewish community of Cluj, Ingo Tege, director of German Cultural Institute in Cluj, Laszlo Fosto, uh, social anthropologist at uh, ICP BNM at the Romanian Institute for Research uh, on National Minorities and Chilo Kunzi, Kunzi, the founder and president of, of Transit Foundation. So the panel will be the, the one that will open the, the series of the panel and will be just after the, the introduction. And, uh, but firstly, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Andrei Cernia, who is the commissary of uh, Romanian French season. And maybe you can talk a little bit uh, more regarding the whole season. Uh, Mr. Briu uh, Tongi uh, the, from Artifarti, no? or, or, or co-organizer of uh, European Lab. And, uh, and, and Caroline, uh, also from Artifarti, or uh, only from European uh, Lab. Maybe you uh, both can speak a little bit about this specific, uh, specific project. Yes. Bonjour. Bonjour. On est dans un, dans un programme assez un mixte euh, français-roumain, mais je vais parler comme on a décidé tous ensemble en anglais, parce qu'on est aussi live sur, uh, sur l'Internet. Uh, et on parle toujours de... We are streaming live on the Internet, so... I will speak in English. We need plurilingualism, but uh, we need a lingua franca at the same time. I know that the debates will be carried out in uh, either Romanian, French, or English. We started this morning with uh, workshops and roundtable uh, discussions where all these languages were mixed together. Um, thank you uh, to, to Artifarti um, for the idea. I think it's, uh, it's uh, of paramount importance to remember that culture um, does revolve around ideas and that um, places like this that do serve as temples, and I'm choosing the right word as we're in an ancient synagogue, um, uh, ancient, maybe not ancient, but a former synagogue, um, temples for, for sorry, a quite modern one in, in, in historical sense since it started probably in the, in the early 20th century after having served as an industrial temple as a small workhouse in, uh, in the industrial city of Cluj. Um, but that also uh, tells us a little bit about this transit of ideas, people, cultures, uh, usage uh, of, of, um, uh, of physical space, whether in, on the urban a structure of a city or on the map of Europe when you think about um, some of the topics that will make these two days of, of discussions. But what I wanted to say is that um, culture is inseparable for, this, uh, f uh, for the world of ideas. And in that sense, animating uh, a series of debates, um, bringing back together the spirit of the agora, the spirit of the meeting of individuals through thought, through exchange of, of, um, of ideas, is as essentially uh, is essential to to a well-functioning society as culture in general, or uh, or as art is. It does bring people together, even when they're divided by by um, uh, different opinions or competing um, uh, values or competing perspectives on various societal issues. Um, and I think the, the the rich programming that you uh, you 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 propose. 
um, to, the pop, to the audience, in the, both online and, and here, um, is a testimony to that. I'm, I'm going to very, very briefly say a few words about the season and why this is important to us. Um, from the very inception, um, this was a political project. Political in a sense that it shows the will of two states via their presidents, their governments, to, to, to try to do an effort to, to bring those two societies together, even when that relationship is considered normally a historical one, one that goes back centuries, one that is established, and normally we shouldn't, uh, you know, it, there's no need to revisit it with a government-organized government, government organized program because it happens anyway. Well, it's, it's a mistake, and we've learned, us Europeans, the hard way that we should not think that things that have been there for centuries sometimes are necessarily uh, 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 there to be forever, uh, or that things that we don't feed are necessarily, um, conti necessarily will continue. And that's why uh, it's very significant that France, that's been doing the season for 34 years, uh, this is the first time that it's uh, a season with a member of the European Union. Um, that, from the beginning, has established for both teams, the French and the Romanian team that did the, organi the, you know, the concept for the, for the season, we realized that we need to take care about this dimension as well. Uh, both the dimension of our relationship as a European relationship, both in its historical, uh, patrimonial aspect, but particular in its contemporary and foresight uh, dimension, whether we talk arts, cooperation between um, dance scenes or theaters or galleries or museum, but also between ideas. And that's why we wanted throughout the season to have a series of events that do talk or that do include um, a, a communion of sorts between the two societies on topics that are very contemporary, that address issues that are relevant in both countries in a way that it's maybe not enough um, uh, present in our public conversation, or when it is, through arts, um, by the unfortunate uh, way the public access, uh, has access to, to art in most, if you want, classical institutions, uh, it remains part of a bubble, remains part of a certain part of the society. The idea is to open it up to all generations, to all, um, to all uh, uh, communities, uh, undivided by, lang by, you know, by languages or by uh, gender or by um, whether urban or rural, of course, still having limitations that are that, that come. You know, um, uh, there's a reason why this is difficult. But we think that now, after almost two thirds of the programming is done, we can congratulate ourselves and specifically our team and partners like you that have accepted the the challenge, so to speak, and. Um, We've touched 87, over 87 communities in France, and this is not just Lyon and Paris and, and, and the big cities, but also villages and small communities. The same applies to Romania. We've traveled um, uh, all across the map, and we continue to do so. Um, there are over 40 uh, towns and, and, and places in Romania where we have programming, including in rural areas, uh, covering cinema, um, fine arts, uh, also hopefully debates. Um, in some cases, this is the most difficult thing to do. Uh, people are used to come to, 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 to a play, they used to come to see a gallery, they used to, 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 to go to a museum, but it's very counterintuitive for them to be invited to a talk or to, a, to something that is not a conference, that is essentially a place where you, where you discuss, where you debate. And I think it's very important for us Europeans to start doing that more. Speaking about the season, uh, we, we also can announce that on Saturday we have another uh, event, uh, part also of the, uh, the, the, the crossing season of, uh, of Romania and France. Uh, uh, it's a co-production, uh, a performance, uh, a Romanian and French co-production, uh, Nimic, Dar Parc Convine Samor, Regia... Rien j'ai envie de mourir. Oui, Regia Vlad Kirza. Așa că o să vă așteptăm și, uh, și sâmbătă la, la, la spectacol. We With this, I think uh, my job here is done. Uh, uh, it was Saturday. a pleasure to participate in this morning's uh, conversations. I'm looking forward for the rest of the uh, discussion. Um, uh, and Caroline Prieux, 
Um, floor is yours, uh, and thanks again for, for, for coming up with this, uh, with this idea and coming to, to Cluj. Thank you for being here. Um, je vais poursuivre en français, si vous voulez bien. Ben, bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Merci beaucoup, euh, Laurent, de nous accueillir dans ce très beau lieu. On est ravis d'être là. Merci, Laurent, pour nous accueillir dans ce spécial lieu qui est engagé, qui est chargé de l'histoire, euh, qui est indépendant. Il y a beaucoup de points communs avec l'association Arti Parti. Centre, qui a beaucoup d'objectifs communs avec notre organisation. Merci, André, et merci à toute l'équipe qui a contribué à organiser cette série d'événements. Merci également au match de la France-Roumaine, puisqu'on a accueilli au sucre dans un club que nous animons tout un week-end dédié à la musique électro-roumaine, et c'était passionnant. Uh, quelques mots, We also welcome uh, the people who are interested in electronic music. This event was organized uh, over a whole weekend. Artifarti is an independent association. It was uh, established based on law number 1901. And the aim of the foundation was a general one. This is a European organization that has been established uh, 22 years ago. And for the past 17 years, we've uh, organized uh, an event, Nuit uh, Sonneur. We realized that many European youth come to us, as they do in the case of Barcelona or other uh, cities in uh, Europe. And they started exchanging uh, ideas pertaining to culture. They started asking uh, themselves how culture can endure over time. Young people started also talking about the impact of uh, culture, of uh, technology on culture, excuse me, and wondering uh, about how their voices can be heard. We were wondering how could we could support them in uh, their endeavor. This is how the idea for the European Lab was uh, actually established. We started organizing this event 2011 together with the French Institute. We are talking about a series of events that are organized both in uh, France, in Paris, and in other cities, but also in Brussels. We also have events in September and October. And as I already mentioned, our event, Nuit Sonneur. We will also travel to Madrid this year. And on this occasion, thanks to the French Cultural Institute in Romania, we also organized this forum. Of course, this was possible due to the partnership with Romanian partners. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. This was very important to all of us. Our horizon is actually Europe beyond its administrative borders. It is very important to us to listen to the voices from Eastern Europe. Last year, for example, we traveled to Greece and listened to a lot of voices from the Balkans. We heard the inspirational stories which are relevant for Europe as a whole. And two weeks ago in Lyon, our forum were, was organized three days after the European elections. And this is also how we named our event the day after the election. We were curious what would happen after the European elections. So uh, we focused on organizing debates. We wanted to analyze the European elections and their results to see what the political scenery is, because the main uh, political parties uh, were the losers of these uh, European elections. We also noticed that participation at the European elections, especially in Romania, grew. We are at the same time talking about a rise of nationalism and populism. We tried to analyze these issues together with our partners, media partners as well, and started thinking about the future. This is how we 
got to two tracks, we thought, what would allow European citizens to act uh, actively to follow their destiny, to, to construct their destiny? We listened to a series of uh, initiatives coming from European citizens from all over Europe, uh, Greece, Italy, there are a lot of small solidarity groups that were set up in these countries. And we also had another track, fictional one. We have to start listening to stories again, re-evaluate fiction. I'll just give you a brief uh, summary of what happened. Populists uh, have risen again to power, but we are sure, we are certain of the fact that culture brings us together, brings cultures together to think about their destiny. This is why we set up uh, European uh, corporations. For example, Tous Douza, All for Art. This is a European festival. And following the forum in Lyon, it was very interesting to continue the discussions, listening to different proposals for initiatives, for example, from here in Romania. We listened to representatives of funky citizens. They talked uh, about how citizens can actively take a part in European elections. We received uh, several proposals from um, Romania, from across Romania. We will also have a roundtable discussion. This uh, will uh, focus uh, on a magazine that, will, that is published in Lyon. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to listen to these interesting stories, for allowing us to get in touch with actors here in Romania and in Cluj. And I'll give the floor to my colleague who was uh, more actively involved in the project. Co-construit donc avec euh, Casa Transit. Et à mon tour de, de vous remercier à, à la saison de nous avoir donné cette opportunité. It's very good to be here uh, at Casa Transit. Thank you very much for giving us this on opportunity to discover a territory where so many players meet. We're not just talking about Lyon, but the whole of Europe. It's the first time I've been here in English, so it's a huge opportunity for me to be here, which is why I'd like to thank you again, Casa Transit, Transit House, for the invitation. And thank you for giving me the opportunity of laying uh, the foundation of a forum that helps us know each other better. We can know each other better and we can learn how to trust each other and to trust the way we act together. Andre was also underlined the fact that the subjects that we're going to debate here are very relevant for the whole of Europe. They are local uh, subjects deeply rooted in the regions, but they also have a European ambition and it, this ambition also goes beyond Europe. Over these two days, our approach is going to be an international one. Given the title of our forum as well, that is culture as uh, an act of resistance. So culture as an act of resistance lies at the core of our intentions and concerns. So what we're launching here is international in scope. In fact, it lies on our desire to go beyond borders, whether we are here in Cluj or in Lyon in France. The purpose of this forum is this, to go beyond borders. And Caroline was uh, talking about the fact that for two weeks now we've been debating, and these debates have been very fruitful. They have taken place at European level. 
three days after the European elections, we've seen how well people have mobilized. This issue of the place of, of culture is a very important one from a political, cultural perspective. For instance, we have tried to fight for an independent kind of culture that makes sense and a common sense, a collective sense, a culture that can englobe us all, and a culture that can go beyond uh, capitalist limitations. Our purpose was to organize a debate and an independent discourse free from any sort of tension or pressure. Over these two days, we want to approach subjects uh, from a cultural point of view, even if they are political in nature. We talk about multiculturalism, resilience, cities and their role, but we also want to talk about democracy seen locally. This morning, we also talked about what it means to be a European citizen. We're going to talk about this tomorrow as well. We spoke to representatives from uh, the paintbrush factory in cluj who also gave us a perspective on the political, uh, European political space. So, we analyzed the situation at European level from the perspective of our uh, similarities and differences. So, we have an international perspective in a context where there was an oppression of the LGBT movement. This manifested in several places, such as uh, South Africa and so South America, as well as Asia. We even filed a project along these lines that tackles uh, queer issues. This is a political topic that managed to mobilize artists as well as political uh, people. This is a very relevant uh, topic currently. Especially here in Cluj, we're going to have Cluj Pride these days, and they will be present uh, in our panel. So I was talking about a debate that we launched, namely uh, Euro the Europe of uh, plurilingualism. Last but not least, I would like to thank you. And uh, technically speaking now, I'm now talking to the audience. In order to listen to French, to the French interpretation, you can use uh, channel three. For English, listen to one. So for Romanian, which channel? It's uh, channel one, and you can get uh, headphones uh, from, from uh, that part. OK? Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we will make a short uh, pause and then uh, invite our, uh, our, our speakers in the, in the first uh, panel, uh, which I will mention again, uh, ch uh, chances of uh, plurilingualism in Europe as a tool for practicing uh, participative democracy. Thank you.